really hot. Super duper red up at the uh out of the sublimation printer. So we testing this one here going. I'm gonna do this one here for my son. We're gonna see how this one work out. Cotton cell 2.0. Let me get y'all in front of it. So, told y'all already, this actually feels really good. This is not thick at all. Uh, we gonna do our watch tests and all that stuff like that, I mean, but... We didn't already did this already, guys. I'm pulling the trigger on this stuff. Look at them colors. Look how it's popping. I thought it was going to be a little bit too much. So, like I say, it does have some stretchability in it. Obviously, if it's hot, it's going to have a little bit more stretchability. But, like this right here, I mean, it ain't never going to move with you like no cotton sub original. But, you definitely not going to have any complaints on how it feels, how it's looking, the washability, or nothing. So, uh, and it's beautiful, man. This is not thick. I, man, I wish y'all was here so y'all could touch it and feel it, but you're going to see it when you get it in your hand, in your house, and when you cook it up. So, guys, definitely, definitely, I need you guys to do your cut test. I need y'all to put this through your plotters, cut it up, and put it on. Because, see, I'm using it right now just like regular transfer paper, but you would probably not want to use this in a situation like regular transfer paper, if you're going to use something like this on regular transfer paper, that's what you would use. This right here, you want to use this for your important jobs, man, because this right here popping. It's that sublimation ink. It's going to be there. It ain't going nowhere, guys. So you want to give them some quality. You want to knock their socks off. Cotton Subs 2.0, guys. Oh, you get that Cotton Subs original. You already know how that's going to feel so sexy on your shirt right there. So I'm going to talk to you guys later. Man. Take the sheet and actually tape it onto a roll of rolling media that I use. So it's definitely printing on it. It's not having a problem printing on the material at all. And this is the Eco Solver printer right here. This is the rolling uh, TrueViz VG640. So I'm gonna put this on the shirt after it's done and we're gonna look at it and see what it's working with. And if this does a good job, I'm gonna need a roll of this so I can test it out on other stuff as well. So I won't have to actually use the tape method. But uh, yeah, it's going on the media, so we'll see. quick right here guys real quick you see this one right here boom it look good you see this one right here look a little bit better but both of them look good though side by side some of y'all probably like what you talking about I can't see no difference this one is on the actual piece of paper so this was the test print that I did this is the cotton sub 2.0 that I put on a cotton shirt using uh using pigment ink. So if I was going pigment ink though, I would actually break the uh, recipe down from 15 seconds to probably 12 seconds. I know y'all probably thinking, man, that two seconds or that three seconds ain't gonna make a difference. Listen, just do what I'm telling you to do and your stuff gonna come out proper. If you're looking right here down close, I think this could have, cause this is off the paper. Usually this comes out just how it prints. This is a little bit darker. I mean, not bad at all though. This is this is money right here. So you guys saw what it looked like on sublimation or using sublimation ink. Same product with pigment ink sitting side by side next to an actual print out of a piece of paper. This is not a film. And this is on the shirt. It feels lovely. Boom. Let's slide over here. 
This is actually the material using the eco solvent ink. So this I printed out. Uh, I have rolling material that I use to do shirts like this. It's the same material, guys. So we're using it with sublimation. We're using it with pigment ink. And we're using it with eco solvent ink. This is absolutely crazy. This one right here, I actually took it and I put it through uh, my rolling printer. I actually taped it down on uh, a roll of material just so I can get a good cut. I put two of them on there. One of them didn't quite make it. It's probably in the trash, but uh, this one right here is the one that made it. And if you look at it, it look good. It look good, guys. It's not crazy looking. It feels good on the shirt. So you talking about one product, man, for three different inks. This Cotton Sub 2.0 is about to change the game. So, y'all make sure y'all get y'all some. I think I'm going to do 10 packs just to let everybody try them out and stuff. And if the demand is big, then we'll go ahead and kick in and get something else. But uh, as far as other sizes, but right now I'm thinking we're just going to br break it out. Start off with the 10 pack and see how you guys like it. Let y'all try it out. Let y'all put it in the wash and everything. And we're going to see what it do, man. So I'm going to talk to y'all later, okay? Peace.